think I probably owe you an apology. For what? For being so hard on you about keeping things from me. <laughs> I never imagined myself living in a glass house and throwing stones. Yes. It's not the same thing. Don't let me off the hook. I really wish I could. So I, I, I need to ask you a um, question. Go ahead. So you, you confronted Peter on the roof, and you pushed him. He fell down the stairs, and he hit his head. And then, what, you, you transported him here? Yeah, that about sums it up. How? You couldn't have done it alone. After that is on me and no one else. I hear what you're saying, but, um, like I told you, if my instincts led me to you, odds are the PCPD won't be far behind. And the more I know, the more I can help you. I told you everything. If you did have help, it's understandable that you'd want to protect them. There's no one else. There's nothing left to say. Once you open this freezer, you'll see what I did. I was afraid someday that I was going to have to identify Peter's body. You know, that is, if I, if I didn't end his life myself. It really is the only two ways that this could have played out. I guess I saved you the trouble. as much as he hated Faison, he turned out the same way. Choices he made led him here. And this moment will come. The whole end of the road getting caught thing. But now that it's here, I'm almost relieved. I'm glad it was you. Let's not put it off any longer. Ready? 